really God need to damn, get. man. Oh. Uh, what a uh, busy boy. week it's been. <laughs> I know. Busy week, yeah, I'm a cat. <laughs> Last week went by so fast. Oh. <laughs> like as if it never happened. Exactly. <laughs> uh, oh, God. How's everybody doing tonight? Doing good. I, I got a beer in me, and I'm about to have another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the house by myself right now. Holy because... cow! What? I know. That, man, you should, be, you should right be now. masturbating, not on the internet with us. <laughs> uh, you know. Oh. Uh, I... Pre-show, pre-show. Um, <laughs> right. All right. Uh, hello, welcome to the Couch Co-op. I'm Ian. I got Jared, Dave, and Aaron. As always. Hey. Hey. Hi, everybody. And uh, good evening, good morning, good night. Yeah, we are a beer podcast where we each week we select a beer, whether it's the four of one of us in the group or for someone has given us a beer. And uh, tonight our beer was given to us by a a friend, Nick Vol, uh, uh, my coworker, and uh, we got lucky with this one. Uh, yeah, we did. It's, it's out of circulation. It's done. It's uh, yep. rest in peace. It's Henry Weinhard's. This is a sign oh, off. Private Reserve. This Hi, is a. Uh, this is a. You know, we're gonna send this beer yeah. off to Valhalla, basically. Um, huh. uh, so, uh, Dave, what do we know about this beer? So uh, this beer was brewed wait, in wait, the wait, time. Wait, 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 wait. We should open it first because. We can drink oh, while yeah. Dave is fucking yeah. talking. While I procrastinate. I'm trying to get up and get the word, isn't it? Uh, three, two, one. Pop it. Pop it. Oh, that's a good one. Got to savor it, boys. This last one you're going to have for a while. Yeah. It could be. A, I don't it, know if I can. It could be a I haven't year. Asked in a while. It could be a year. So, it could be 10 years. I believe Henry it never Weinhardt. Again. Could be tomorrow. Who knows? Came to Portland. Or came to America and then ended up in Portland. He, uh, he was 26. 26. Something, so, and he, he started was, it near Fort Vancouver. Oh. Yes. And so he, uh, 1856 is when he started the brewery because I think he tried some other schemes and they didn't work. Um, obviously, they were around yeah. for a long, long time. That back when breweries were regional. So, you know, he served. You probably didn't even get up to Seattle, to be quite honest. It was a Portland thing. And then um You weren't lying when you said you knew a lot about this beer. I was like, I don't know. I'm what? <laughs> this is like fucking oh, this is like American history. This is like old- American fucking history right now we're getting. <laughs> well, this some prohibition of- came along and they made the money making syrups and sodas and things. Mm-hmm. And then they started mm-hmm. brewing again in the fifty uh, uh, like after that, and then in the fifties they expanded um and they made a couple of beers and then like the 60s 70s was when the smaller regional breweries began to either get bought up or um uh you know or or just go bust against the budweisers of the world and so every year he used to brew a special batch of beer i believe uh hence the private reserve which is the mm. lager um the just for the employees and then i believe it's like in 1976 was when they first brewed this and released it to the public so this is back this is back before like any of the real you know the women were brothers or anything like that but what was special about this was it was brewed with just like malt hops and barley as opposed to rice or any of the adjuncts that like the major brewers were using and so wait a second so wasn't this technically considered one of the first macro breweries of the of America? Because I know that Coors and Budweiser and Miller were like in the later in the century, like later in the not the century, later in the in the yeah hundred years or whatever. But this was like you said, this was made in eighteen fifty six. Wasn't this like one of the first macro breweries around technically? Because it's well, made a massive. What uh, I see is that it started when Portland was only five years old. Right, yeah. right. So probably. That makes sense. Yeah, Oregon, Oregon will only just become a state at this point, I believe. So that's true. That's uh, true. Anyway, so the other, so a couple of things about this beer is they first brewed it in 1976. It's won a bunch of medals for like American style mass lager and all the rest of it, but 
you know, it was one of the it was one of the first brews that went kind of back to basics in the way that the craft beer scene kind of did, you know, later on. Um, when so did they actually? Yeah, when did they, they actually did. finally sell out? To uh, they sold. I can't remember when they. Someone bought them. They got like a long history, but um, whoever the owner was before the. Uh, I think it's Molson Coors own own them now or something. Yeah, they are now. Whoever was the owner, I remember. I think it was 1999 when they closed down the brewery downtown that used to be next to Powell's. Yeah, that was a that was the production brewery, and now it's just a a a brewery. It's just a because they used to have a shit ton of beers. Tavern, yeah. I mean these Mm -hmm. guys. I mean. Oh yeah. I mean, I grew up with my parents. And my grandparents are drinking like blue boar and you know all the. Yeah, they fucking... used to have like yeah. four, at least four beers when I first got like the mainline uh... mainline beers. Yeah, yeah you could well, buy had... a mix of oh. twelve. So when I was this, when I worked at Columbia and they had this like of different varieties, it was three beers: the pre, the private reserve, the blue boar, and the hefeweizen. And then they rotated between their summer ale and their winter mm-hmm. wheat ale. I believe is what it was called. So yeah, it's a. But no, that was a very, very popular beer. Like I had to fill that up by like the ca- like by the case, which was like two twelve packs per case. And they did do the mixers and stuff like that. Yeah. But they... and then they just castrated them. They just fucking yeah, killed them. Just... <laughs> and so which was other... stupid because it was very popular. I it think was this also beer popular is. I think this it beer was usually cheaper. This beer well. is it still was... fucking yeah. popular. I feel like I don't. Oh, it it's... It's because they really want to focus on their hard seltzers and stuff like that, where the market's going. They're yeah. they're getting rid of their where ones that where it's gone from the past. Yeah, yeah, where <laughs> it has gone. Yeah, getting rid of all the English as well, which yeah. was another one that I think they acquired from the same stable. But, um, Ew. but yeah, basically, I don't. I think the real the real problem with this is it is a regional beer, um, so it doesn't have the market appeal and it's trying to compete with like you know pbr and those kind of beers because price wise it was i always remember price wise like whenever anything else was eight bucks a six pack this would be six bucks a six pack or you know it was usually a dollar or two cheaper than any of the competition and that's why it's always sold out every time i ever did it because it was tasty but like you said it was regional so that was their really main issue because yeah, you could go to any other part of Oregon when this was big, it would be sold out. But once you go to like a different part of the country, no representation, no nothing. It's like the other thing, the other thing is when it says brewed with Cascade hops, this was traditionally always brewed with Cascade hops grown in Oregon. That was the other thing. So yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's definitely a harder thing to do because you gotta do so much within your state. I mean, yes, Oregon has a massive amount of capability to produce hops but well there's nowhere better in the world than oregon and washington for hops yes i mean exactly. you can get every variety so i have a I mean, stupid oh, idea yeah, and i don't i don't pretend to think that molson Coors is listening to this podcast but yeah. i think for a very small licensing fee you allow brewers to brew this beer <laughs> But call it yes. like old Henry Weinhardt's, like just slightly change the name for their own version. Yeah. I don't see and why it, that wouldn't and be then, possible. And then it can only be on tap at their place. They can't sell it in cans. They can't do anything. It's just like that way because it kind of bring it gives back the kind of original intention of the beer a little bit, and it kind of makes it uh, again a private reserve. Like it's a literally yeah. this kind of only you know hey we have this. You know, it's kind of it'd be kind of a, f- a cool thing to do. I don't know. I mean, full, it's full that's a bad idea, on, really. On track through this for a, for a good, I think, a decade in the 2000s and 2010s. I mean, this beer's been around for 45 years. It, that's, that's pretty it's impressive. Those, yeah. yeah, it's it stands its ground considering. It's got a kind of a but... complex flavor profile, really. If you kind of. Mm-hmm. It's a little more. Uh, it's not like just aggressive, like a PBR or something. You know, it's got a little more something to it. Um, it's yeah. really easy going. Oh, I, oh, I easy. remember when yeah, I first, easy. first saw the eighteen pack of it at Winco. I'm like, yes, please. 
You know, it was like just the, back... the staple in the house for a while, and it was it was good. It's a good beer. And you know what's funny? Like yeah. back back in art school or college, my days, we didn't drink this one. We were drinking Blue Boar like all the t- fucking time. Blue Boar is delicious. <laughs> yeah, Blue Boar was great. But that's, that's the one. That's, 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 that's kind too. of like the the light Heineken. You know, it's like this easy kind of different. Yeah. It... <laughs> oh yeah, that one was a heavy hitter too. I. So honestly, I'm really bummed that this is completely like yep. never going to be done again. Well, that's what they said before, and they revived just this one. But the I'm website just sad still that says that Blue Boar and this are available. But what? I've never it, seen Blue Boar. I've not Boar. seen Blue Boar in a dog's age. Yeah, yeah I know I haven't either. either. Happy, but if you go to the Henry Weinhart's website, it lists two beers, and one of those is Blue Boar, and the other one is interesting. Uh, That's crazy interesting. Huh. Do they say? Are they saying goodbye right now? Like, like we? No, they 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 still like say they still make out like it's um, you know, available. I'll have to ask my. The people it, I run into, I'll well, What did you say, Jared? It was like August was like it's finite? Yeah, August. As, at least August that's when August. the article came out. OPB said it was August that it was discontinued. And yeah. the funny thing is, if you still got, if you go on mm-hmm. the website, it's it still says it's available at Fred Meyer and, you know, and do the beer search. It says you should be able to get it. Does a beer, know, all does a beer all like the a usual lo- suspects. Does a beer like well, a lager last a lot? longer than like an IPA in certain beers no. like what beer yeah, cool what beer la- probably... what beer lasts the longest you brew it which one la- is going to last the longest generally alcohol content is a good indicator and that's why like, yeah but about 9% i like think that, it lasts uh, longer uh, you know uh, and part of it is the alcohol helps preserve very hoppy beers the hops can kind of help preserve it like IPAs, you know, that was why they were originally brewed is because they're stronger and the hops act, act, of, act as somewhat of a natural preserve. So a beer like this is going to die, even if they have it, it's going to die yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, if you had any in cans, it'd probably be undrinkable in six months <laughs> yeah. kind of thing. And if it's in bottles, it might last a little longer, but it's not, uh, it's not going to be... Yeah, you, you can still find this in stores right now, but not for much longer. Are you, you've actually seen it in stores, or I have going on you, can, you can order I have. it on every now and then. I'll from see it. Go puff. <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what's I see it every now and then? It works. Bevmo, or what, what's the one that's something you guys in? Washington? Well, uh, Bevmo was bought by uh, Go Puff, and they're merging. Uh, so Go Puff is going to be inside of Bevmo up in this location in Vancouver. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Go Bev. (laughs) And they say they they actually actually say they have it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Delivery by tomorrow. But how much is that costing you? Uh, well, if it has the address right, uh, like fifteen, sixteen bucks. For that's not bad for for a twelve pack. Yeah. Oh, I I mean mean, that's yeah. It's out there. It's It's out out there. Delivery. But it's it's going. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Because that'd be like a nine ninety nine or twelve ninety nine. Because I was looking at Bevmo and it says it's out of stock. Huh. Right. Yeah, I, I I don't know if I've updated or put an address in mind, so it might be going like California or something like that. Some weird place. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked at the Vancouver. Oh, uh, yeah. I forget they do it'll, that. It also, I mean, well, needless to say, if you want to drink it, this could be our last sip. As so, why not? but no, but like with I mean, I think Nick DeWin, one of our fellow listeners who listens all the time, I think he posted a, an article in our Discord how the the uh, seltzer market has been declining. Mm-hmm. And yep. the fact yeah. that everyone's putting everything into seltzer right now, crazily enough, how long till this seltzer thing blows over and then they bring – how long do you think it takes them to bring this beer back? Because they're, not, they're not, not going to bring this beer back. Well – 
I bet some of these companies, you know, as time goes by, they're going to release retro beers with retro <laughs> labels and stuff like that. That's going to be a thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like, well, soda, this is like, years like soda, no, like, year Pepsi, like Pepsi Cola, yeah. like like yeah. uh, the, the even, real sugar even Pepsi. Even pretty retro looking. Yeah, <laughs> even Budweiser did oh. that. They did like their retro cans on one of their anniversaries. You know, it's it, well, I the think is doing it's that a too. thing. I have a question. They, they have the rights and the recipes and I have all a, that stuff. So. I have a stupider question for you then. Do you think Anheuser Busch, they who own Budweiser, would treat this beer better than Molson Coors is treating this fucking beer? Yeah, that is a hard honestly. question. I think I they, like would. they would. I think they would. I well, think most Budweiser, Coors, they, I... they own Miller and Coors. I mean, that's like t- two top tier brands. But they give they two shits. Each other they with. give yeah. two shits about really, except their Budweiser tends. To, I feel like Budweiser has a cares more about tradition. They do. Than fucking most really Coors do. does. Yeah. I feel like they'd hold this beer out for a bit longer anyway that's just my personal opinion molson cores prove me wrong <laughs> right yeah. i think it's but, sad uh, I think we, it's... we haven't t- we haven't talked about the beer itself very the beer much. itself like, is great yeah it's, it's great it's, it's wonderful nice color. it's easy it's drinking uh, lager isn't it easy drinking real good it's flavor so to it and, honestly yeah it's, I, it's I, so I could good. literally take out the 18 pack by myself in a couple of days if i really wanted to i could easily nice. do that That's nice how... bro nice. i don't even think it yeah. deserves to be in the like shit beer category that it's no. in. like that's it's in the bargain basement price mm-hmm. but it's it's a better lager than all those beers yeah because that's sure. that's along with like rolling rock and things like that yeah right and how miller high life makes you wonder how yeah. m- how yeah. uh, like that's what I'm saying. Miller Coors doesn't get. Marketing. They don't give a shit about this beer. They don't yeah. mark this beer. Doesn't get marketed. This is just something. Mm-hmm. Oh hey fans, check out this beer. Oh we're, we're releasing it. Blah blah blah. Don't give. But it they're blah. they're such a huge company, and they say, oh these Northwesterners, you know, they're the only ones that like it. So we just need to get rid of it because it's not a national Dude, seller. This fucking beer is better than fucking is. Widmere Hefeweizen, and this is more of a history than Widmere Hefeweizen. This is. This That's is like, um, but this beer is on the same fucking level as that beer. This is. That's what I'm. So, I'm gonna Oregon say that. Carnage. I'm gonna fucking say that it's on the same level as that beer. It's as important to this area as that beer, and that beer. This beer is better than that beer. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, but no. This is this is Oregon incarnate. I mean, seriously, this is. Widmer, it's it's great beer. Don't get me wrong, but. I, I, feel I can, like I can leave it. To to you say everybody. take it or leave it. I say leave it. I I I would take this <laughs> over any Woodmere beer, dude. Maybe oh, no, no. I, top, I agree. I like drop top, but like I I fuck that. I'd take this beer over any no, Woodmere uh, beer. I agree. I'm just saying, like they're good, but honestly, you give me half. You give me Henry. I will take Henry over half any day of the week. How did That's it get relegated? I'm... How did it get relegated to shit beer profile? Like cheap beer, eighteen pack shit beer. Like how did it get there? Like that's awful in my opinion, because it's not an all. It's not one of. I don't know. It's just a oh. north northwest style lager. It's nothing. It's not premium. It's not anything. It's yeah, just, I wonder how much is. of it is. They were just like, eh, it's kind of a backwater. We can't. It's not something we're ever gonna like be able to get double digit growth. Do you know they, what I mean? That's because they didn't put any marketing behind it because they don't want to spend more exactly. money on it. They don't want to spend more money. But it's like the original. You know, you, just like, you could just be like the original. Dun, 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 dun. You know, I mean, you just like rebrand it as this like. I know fucking, what you mean. I just it's like such a, a storied beer and right. a storied brewery as well. It's like to just let it yeah. kind of wither on the vine after 150 years it's kind of like there are so what, many what are beers you doing? yeah you know what montucky cold snack fuck that beer i'd take this over that like get rid of you know, <laughs> oh that's a big yeah. one fuck that wow. shit i take this 100 percent. i take yeah. this 100 percent over montucky i love my Henry <laughs> wine heart. last sip all right i do wine Henry. Heart ever. yeah that's that's it it's all, all gone. I would yep. say I would all ask gone. I would ask Nick Vol what video game he would pair this with. But Nick Vol only plays one video game, and that's NBA 2K. Sports ball. NBA yeah. 2K. I thought I know so... what he would pick. 
Uh, no, I think I know. I think I know. It'd probably be Oregon Trail. No, it's only uh, <laughs> again. No, he wouldn't play that. He'd only play NBA 2K. But he'd be oh, playing. Yeah. Every, he'd be, every young child played Oregon Trail back he'd be, in elementary no. school. Yes. But he'd be playing. He'd be playing the Portland Trailblazers. So. Mm. Yeah, gotcha. All right. Yeah. So NBA. I get 2K. it. Anyway, yeah. uh, <laughs> we got to review this game. We got to review this game. We got to review this beer. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Thumbs up. I think this it, stuff has yeah. always been good to me. It's funny, we rate the thumbs up, and it's like, and I understand certain beers are better than other beers. Maybe one day we'll do special episodes where we, atta- you know, the thumbs so up We need beers. to do a bracket. Yeah, bracket, but the best this beer that is year. literally a great fucking beer, and yet people just are discarding it. Molson Coors is just oh. discarding it to the wind, so. Rest in peace, wine, Mr. Weinhard. Yeah. It was yes. good. Glad we got to taste it. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. My, uh, I get to uh, pick the beer next. We're going to do another lager. Ah. We like those around yeah. here. We're going yes, to we do, do, what is it, Hop Valley? Red Can. Yeah. Mm. Cool. So, Red uh, Can. Red Can. That's right. So, uh, that's next week. And, yeah. And, uh, right. I think that's it. We got to get out of here. Uh, All right. Jared, Dave, Aaron, thank you for joining me here on the couch. Anytime, hey. buddy. <laughs> Anytime. What's up, what's up with that? Nah, <laughs> uh, you can find us on all the podcast places. You can find us on anchor.fm slash the couch co-hop show leave us a voice message uh that's it i think we're uh, ready to go what's our yeah. uh what's our tagline drink well, responsibly. responsibly molson somebody... cores help us drink responsibly anyway yeah we need we need more of this 4.7% <laughs> Henry Wine Hearts. Lighten it up. Lighten it up. I'm go- I'm coming right. for you. Anyway, good night, everybody. Or good morning. Or whatever. Good evening. Good, good night. See you guys when we see you guys. <laughs>